will take on Brandon Hatchet of Lehigh, the senior and a two-time All-American, who finished seventh last year in the NCAA championships. 0-1 in his own match against David Taylor this year. Off we go in the 165s. Nice ankle pick there by Taylor. And already two points for David Taylor, who has dominated his way throughout this tournament so far. He's pinned every one of his opponents. He has. He's pinned every one of his opponents. And the last wrestler to pin all of their opponents was 1980. Howard Harris, Oregon State and heavyweight. And all he did was pin Bruce Baumgartner in the finals. Baumgartner comes, went ahead to become the most decorated heavyweight in USA international history. Howard Harris, Oregon State, pinned his way through this tournament Continue. years ago. No one's done it since. Escape point awarded to Hatchet, two to one, 45 seconds in, and Taylor already going for another takedown. Keep the legs clean, let's work here. Hatchet did give Taylor his closest match of the season, eight to five. Good hold, good hold. And that tells you a little bit more about the dominance of David Taylor. Good hold. Two red. Two more for the 31-0 redshirt sophomore from St. Paris, Ohio. It's a great shot by Taylor getting that low ankle, coming underneath through that waterfall position, turning over, controlling the hips of Hatcher, getting his two points. We're out of bounds, gentlemen. Let's get a new start. Lead official for this match, Mike Haggerty from Blue Springs, Missouri. Two sets, locked down on both of them. Ready, set, right on. Set. It's interesting, Taylor doesn't think of himself as a pinner. He's a dominant wrestler, wins a lot by technical fall, but he just is in a zone in this tournament. He says, I, I just feel, I'm feeling things I haven't felt work it before. In, work it in. I just happen to have it going for me right now. Same way, gentlemen. Green down. Ready, set. We're going touch optional here. We're going to touch optional. Ready, set, set. One neutral. Taylor will give up the escape point to Hatchet, four to two. Taylor chooses to, to go optional start instead of trying to ride Hatchet out. He's already done a great job this far of getting those low ankle two. shots. Two takedowns, another takedown right here. Taylor's really controlling the match from his feet. Already three takedowns in two minutes for David Taylor. Loves to be on his feet, and he's proven it so far in this opening period. Taylor's really bounced back, Anthony. You talked about it coming back Continue. from that one Sports loss here, in gentlemen. his career, and it really ate at him last year, and I think he's rededicated himself. Seems like it, and obviously an undefeated year. Uh, he definitely came back strong because of that loss, and I think it just showed him a lot about himself, and, and just, just maybe, seconds. maybe putting too much pressure on himself, wrestling underneath these lights. So he's already gotten that loss out of the way. That's something every wrestler fears. He's coming, getting to the national Working finals and losing. He's and already out. done that, so it's out of the way. It's not in his head anymore. Now it's just time to move on. Taylor gives a lot of credit to his coach, Cale Sanderson, not for coaching as much as being a big brother-like mentor and letting him know, hey, life throws curves, and let's get after it. And he said and it really helped him when Cale was working out for the world team because he said, that made my summer a lot tougher. I gained a lot. Come on. And that begs, the, that begs the question on whether Cale Sanderson is going to go for the Olympics, and we'll find out in a few weeks. April 21st and 22nd, Iowa City, the Olympic trials. Everybody's the wondering, first. will Cale be there? Red says down. And look at Kathy Taylor, David's mother. His Ready, father set, Sitting behind green. Kathy Take as well. Home. I think she notices her set. image on the big screen here in St. Louis as Taylor starts on bottom to open up the second. Two minutes of riding time in that first period for David Taylor. So had to try to cut into two it. Red, two red, two red. Very impressive. Two point reversal for Clean David up, Taylor. Clean it up on the back. So that was a nice job of Taylor. We saw Hatchet try to put in the leg of Taylor. Immediately went for that heel, ripped it out, and sunk underneath Hatchet's hips to grab the other leg. That's what gave him that reversal. Was not waiting and not allowing Hatchet to sink that leg in and pressure Taylor down to the mat. Good wrist control from David Taylor here as well against Hatchet. Now we're out. 
Same way, red up. You see Taylor popping out that heel, going over for the other leg, keeping steady here, shaking the hips. Two of red, off of two him, red. Reaching all the way over to finish with the reversal there. Touch optional again. Ready, let him get in. Set, set. Taylor more one confident neutral. on his feet. Gives Green. up the one point for the escape, but a very comfortable cushion right now for David Taylor. points for David Taylor, another takedown. Worked one side, cast over the leg, got control for two. And this is one of the more dominant 45. shows I think we've seen at an NCAA tournament the last couple of years. One, two. Back points. And driving the half. Two, red! Nine point advantage for Taylor, a couple of more back points to add to the cushion. Certainly headed towards a tech fall, if not a pin. That's he gets out Keep in front by here, 15 Keep points. Working. They will stop the match, just like a TKO in in, in a boxing match. If he gets a 15-point margin, the Look match in, is over. In. And out. Taylor dominating with nine seconds remaining in the second period. If he scores Green six down. more points without Hatchet scoring, that'll be a technical fall and close this Lock one in out in dominant Green. fashion. Short time, nine seconds. Ready? Tight, set, red on, set. Over three minutes of riding time for David Taylor. Green. Out of the five Green. minutes we have wrestled. One, one. Break, Green. First round of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship continues on ESPN2 Sunday, 2.30 Eastern. Regional Line. coverage begins. Baylor and Notre Dame in action tomorrow. Check your local listings for your team at your time. Well, Hatchet chooses neutral because he's got to make up some ground right now. Looking Two. for some quick points, but Clean David up. Taylor Still there. is up Still by there. 11. One neutral. Give up the escape point. Still a 10-point lead. Two. Two back. more for Red David up. Taylor. It's been Touch a nice run again. for Brandon Eight. Hatchet. Set. Pat Santoro Set. in the corner, the Lehigh coach. One neutral. Only four-time All-American for Pitt. He was a two-time champ. Done a Two nice right. job at Lehigh. One neutral. Not much you can say when you're wrestling David Taylor and he's in a zone like Two this. Two right. Another takedown for David Taylor. He's one, one point away, now two points away after he gives it up. A takedown will do it for David two Taylor. Right. He's ball. got it. Tech Tech ball. Ball. Tech ball. David Taylor, your national champion in 165. He closes out at 32 and 0. Kale Sanderson's got another champion for Penn State. Bouncing back from that very difficult loss to Bubba Jenkins a year ago, he's exercised that demon. Just a sophomore, two-time All-American, and he picks up a national championship. David Taylor's with Quint Kessnick. David, congratulations, you step up on the mat tonight. What were your expectations? I wasn't getting second again, I'll tell you that. You make it look like you're having so much fun. How do you do that? Why do something you do all the time and not enjoy it? There's no reason to do something for the first time and act like you're not having fun. I love wrestling. I love the fans. I love Penn State. You were machine-like in your ability to take him down. How would you best describe that ability? Relentless. Uh, trying to score every second. That's what I've done my whole life. So I've done every match. And uh, sometimes it gets you in trouble, but sometimes it looks like that. Four pins and a tech fall. Congratulations. Thank you. That was about as dominant of a performance as we have seen. Oh, that was great effort by Taylor. You saw he got up with, with, with a nice cushion there, but he kept that pace going all the way through the match. He was relentless. He never gave Hatchet an inch of space to breathe.
Kathy Taylor sees her son win his first national championship. David Taylor, an undefeated season, 32-0, and the champion in the 165-pound class.